the theory of damped oscillations the amplitude of an oscillating body keeps on decreasing over a period of time due to frictional resistance in most of the oscillations we see around us the oscillations will slowly die out this type of oscillations are called damped oscillations for example in an idealistic case a pendulum should go on oscillating forever once it is displaced from its equilibrium position but in practice it slows down and comes back to its position due to some a resistance how fast the pendulum can reach equilibrium position pushes us to know the types of damping there are three types under damping critical damping and over damping in under damping the damping is very less and body will come back to its equilibrium position after a lot of oscillations as we see in the door example here when the door closer is under damped the door will oscillate longer and finally comes to rest in the second type that is critical damping the damping is just enough for a body to reach the equilibrium position and oscillations are very less as we see in the example again when the door closer is critically damped it makes the door close quickly and also with less oscillations as possible this type of damping is widely used and has many applications finally we have over damping in this type the oscillations are almost nil and the body is brought back to equilibrium position very slowly without any oscillations as we see from the example when the door closer is over damped the door will close very slowly and it reaches the equilibrium position and then comes to rest so this is about theory of damped oscillations where we can decrease the amplitude of the oscillations using various methods damping has lot of application be it your push back chair the car suspension and many other things to sum up we learnt about definition of damping types of damping such as under damping critical damping and over damping